do this. It it's is Python on hardware time. Blinka time. Lots of Blinka. Lots of Blinka. Lots of MicroPython. Lots of CircuitPython. Lots All of Python. here. So um, as we had said before. The big news, which we will be talking about every single week all the way up until April 15th, is... <laughs> so get um, used to it. Get to today, <laughs> like, you know, this is, this is the subscription service you signed up for. Um, a to streaming network. The clue will be at PyCon. So everyone gets a clue. You got a clue. Um, this is brought to you by DigiKey and Adafruit. Yay! Over 3,000 people are going to get clues. Um, the logo that PyCon happens to have works out really well if you have a bunch of clues because you mm. could just uh, <laughs> you could just take the graphic and put it on each clue. And we're doing a bunch of photos because it's just fun because um, that's what you could do with clues. Look how fun this is! I'm having fun. Mm. Um, and uh, I wanted to say thank you again to DigiKey, uh, in particular, for bringing Python on hardware to so many people. Um, one thing that I'll say as as a as a partner. Um, I noticed some things. So I was watching Pi Cascades, the live streaming. Um, this is one of the coolest like Python events because um, it's like event season. So PyCon, you know, we're having clues there coming up very soon. And then uh, Scott was at uh, Pi Cascades. I'll talk about that in a second. But um, just to give a uh, little, you know, hug, we call them hug reports to DigiKey. So people now, when they talk about electronics, they notice that DigiKey has been a partner. And they're like, if you're going to choose hardware, go to the DigiKey site. And that's how this all stuff, this is how this happens. When people ask us, like, oh, like, you know, tell us about these partnerships that you do. Tell us about these things that you do. It's like, well, how do you get people to uh, say, like, oh, like, this is my supplier now. So some stuff you get from Adafruit. But Adafruit's not going to sell you, like, uh, like, LED, individual LEDs or components or resistors. It makes no sense. And so this is kind of neat. So congratulations to... Uh, DigiKey into the Python community because I feel like this was like a really nice match made in component heaven. So, <laughs> really neat. Um, so speaking of, Scott did a talk, Computing's Next Decade and Everyone. Um, this is uh, the end, one of the last slides. Watch the whole thing. This is really neat. Not only because Scott did an excellent talk about where can we take Python and, and computing together uh -huh. um, with everyone, but um, it was neat to see uh, Scott's history of computers. Um, Scott got a Dell. Yeah, like for Christmas. It was Ooh. Cool. Yeah, it was really neat. So uh, check out his talk. It was excellent. Uh, this is from Joey. Uh, Joey got a clue. And Joey said, the clue is a bike mountable commuter computer I've always dreamed of. Circuit Python powered connection to an iPhone for weather reports, reminders, and turn by turn directions, plus tons of environmental sensors, including ambient noise on board. Such a cool product. So this was one of the projects that we started to work on like right away. Like, it was it's just funny. He, they, it's, it's another bicycle computer. It's not Piloton, but yeah. it's very similar. And so we're doing this Piloton thing where we're like, okay, cool. You could take like a garbage trash stationary bike or any bike and then turn it into like a very advanced IoT bike that does lots of things and sensors. And uh, that's why we, you know, this is our parody. This is haha, -ha, funny, funny. It's Piloton. We're not, but, going, we're not going public. <laughs> but it's uh, still a really nice bike computer. Yeah. And so we wanted to have a really nice bike computer for, you know, under 30 bucks that could do all this stuff. Um, other news that's going on in the world of Python and hardware, Blinka continues to snake its way to the Open Hardware Badge. So the Open Hardware Summit is coming up pretty soon. If you want to go to it, you might want to check out Open Hardware Summit site. Um, Blinka is running. Drew showed it on the show and tell. We've been posting this. I will continue to put up photos. Look, repls. Repls on things. And we're doing so much work with Bluetooth and the NRFT2840. Yeah, you'll be able to do a lot. You're going to be able to do a lot because all these demos, like the Peloton, they're all going to work on um, the open source hardware badge because it's actually really similar to Clue in many ways. It's not the yeah. exact same sensors, but it's the same chip and the same display, yeah. same Bluetooth. So you're going to be able to take advantage of all these awesome Clue projects if you go to the Open Source Hardware Summit. Okay. Other people are getting their clues. And what's the first thing you're doing? Let's make a cap touch photo viewer. Now, you don't need to plug it in USB. It could be battery. This is it starting up. And then, look, there's the Adafruit logo. And as you touch the edge, look at all these photos that you can do. Yay. Right. And it's even faster. We actually just merged yeah. in an update so this is from to speed Tokyo. the screen. Check it out. OK. More stuff going on. This is a cool Pi game. I'm running on Pi Gamer. Okay. So if you want to learn how to make video games and you want to make them in Python, you can do that with Pi Gamer. Is this a collector cat? Yeah, the winner too. Okay. You, you want to count. Yeah. Um, this is the storm glass thing. This is using Circuit, Playground, Express, uh, sorry, Bluefruit, and also 
a bunch of cool stuff to make this effect. You have to check out the Hector Guide and more. Congratulations to, I guess, our sister. And so I don't know what Big sister, is. yeah. Our snake sister. Um, MicroPython got 10,000 stars on GitHub. Yay. I think we're like at 1,000 or so. What are we? Yeah, we're like 1,500 yeah. or something. 1,500? Like okay. Um, Melbourne MicroPython meetup happened. Check out uh, the links in our newsletter and also on their site. There was an excellent talk, the MicroPython Garbage Collector, and Matt presented the MicroPython news that was going on. Other stuff, this is from uh, Oshpark, and these are a bunch of Blinkas uh, made with the Flex PCBs, and this is Deshipu's design with the PCB uh, pins that are made with the Flex that now mm. Oshpark can do. Cool IoT project. Um, this is Mohib's uh, project that's a Pi Portal connected to an AWS cloud project using CircuitPython. This is another uh, version. This is Ion of uh, the IoT cloud badge powered by CircuitPython running on a Pi badge. There's now a side NeoPixel strip on the lanyard. This is uh, the talk that I think Maria is going to be giving in April, and it's about uh, plants with CircuitPython, and this is called Planteris. Ooh. And it'll give you the status of It's a happy things. plant. Yeah. Here's a bunch of kids with Circuit Playground Expresses. Here is the latest updates for Snack. There's um, first the, um, well, first it's the open hardware Python microcontroller for Lego, and it uses Snack and also it's Circuit Python. You can run Circuit Python. There's a sensor kit that was added, and you can also um, take a look at the lessons that Keith is putting up on CrowdSupply. If you like cheer lights, well, you can use the NRF52840 and the Feather Express with an airlift to get the current cheer light uh, colors via JSON. Um, it advertises them via BLE. The colors displayed on an itsy bitsy NRF52840 and a Circuit Playground Blue Fruit. Next up, we posted up our heart rate monitor project. You'll be able to check out that on learn.adafruit.com. Bill, AT Makers, has some updates to the Freedom Wing case. This allows you to use a power wheelchair as an Xbox controller. The, um, the uh, latest update is this case that Bill's working on. It's a nice case. Yeah. Green. Um, the folks over at, um, I think it's Electro Maker, are doing a contest and you can win a giant board. Ooh. And very simple, you just come up with a unique project idea that incorporates a giant board, submit your idea, Use 150 words. Once you receive your board, you can start building your project. It's that easy. Nice way to get some free boards. And then, of course, it's running Linux. It's so powerful. Yeah. It has Blinka. And it's Feather Format. It's for the format. Use all of our Feather Wings. And it's Feather Format. And it's Feather Format. Speaking of Feather, this is a PoE Feather Wing. This is an Ethernet Feather Wing with four watts of power over Ethernet power and a unique MAC address that's going to be coming out on CrowdSupply. This is kind of cool. Um, someone did a Freedom of Information Act, and they got 400 pages of the Python instructional course at the NSA. That's kind of neat. That's Secret Snake. Right now, this very second, or close to, at the Artist Asylum, there is a meetup for Circuit Python. Brent's there. Dan's there. Lucian's there. And they're having a good time. They're having fun. They Plus might even be about. watching. They might, well, maybe they're watching this on their phone and not talking to each other. Maybe they're Who Mary's eating knows? small chow chow that I don't get to have. Could be. And then coming up, there's a Circuit Python workshop. Um, and uh, get the details in the newsletter and more. Um, it is coming up on the uh, Makerspace, and I have to find which campus this is. I think I have put this in events, so it's in here somewhere. Um, it's at Amherst, it's at UMass Amherst, um, February 13th from 6 p.m. to 7 p.m., the Makerspace and the Astronomy Building. We are seeing lots of. Whoa, this of is a lot of like Mass U, Massachusetts. I'm from Massachusetts, so this is good for me. This is working out. It's working for my team. It's working out. Blinka, blinka, blinka. Wicked. Yeah. Wicked okay. blinka. 